morning and welcome to Weekly Insights with John Plassard. Google recently put an engineer on pay leave after rejecting his claim that Google's artificial intelligence was sentient and could therefore interact with human beings, leading to yet another scandal involving the company's most advanced technology. While some engineers believe that artificial intelligence cannot yet be endowed with consciousness, as Google's employee thinks, there are some advances in the field of machine-human communication that cannot be denied. These include the NLG. This summer, a San Francisco artificial intelligence lab called OpenAI unveiled a technology that had been months in the making. The new system, GPT-3, spent that time learning the ins and outs of natural language by analyzing thousands of digital books, the entirety of Wikipedia, and nearly a trillion words posted on blogs, social media, and the rest of internet. It generates tweets, writes poems, summarizes emails, answers trivial questions, translates languages, and even writes its own computer program, all with very little prompting. Some of these skills have surprised even experts. At the most basic level, a chatbot is a computer program that simulates and proceeds a human conversation, written or spoken, allowing humans to interact with digital terminals as if they were communicating with the real person. The chatbot market is growing rapidly. Indeed, since COVID-19 crisis, the development of teleworking has led more brands to use them. Some firms have even had to review how their customer service is organized. The use of conversational boots has made it possible to streamline conversation that had become too numerous to be handled quickly. Other companies have chosen to partially digitize certain services or to keep employees working from home. The other advance in terms of artificial intelligence is the design to order, DAL-E. At OpenAI, researchers are developing a technology that allows you to create digital images by simply describing what you want to see. They call it DAL-E, which could help people such as graphic designers, providing them with new shortcuts and ideas for creating and editing digital images. Do not hesitate to ask our expert for more details on the companies and ETFs involved in the team. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Stay safe and keep on winning.